At least eight people are displaced and one person hospitalized after a fire at a condo building on the south side. And investigators say that the fire was difficult to get under control because of uh, some specific conditions. Alyssa Donovan joining us live from Hyde Park to explain more. Alyssa. Yeah, Pat and Dina, fire crews were on scene for hours this morning, starting at 3.30 a.m., and they were here until just a short while ago, and there's still a few crew members on scene at this hour. The fire commissioner says this fire was especially difficult for firefighters to fight because of a hoarding situation, which made it challenging for them to gain control of the fire and gain entry into the residence. People were knocking on doors, screaming, fire, fire. And then someone from the street was shouting, get out of the building, your building's on fire. People who live along the 5100 block of South Kenmore Avenue woke up to the sounds of firefighters and concerned neighbors on Tuesday morning. I heard a lady, a woman's voice, going down the hall, yelling down the hallway, like, fire, fire, there's a fire. And she was kind of like banging on the doors. A four-store residential condo building had caught fire. 5124 South Kenwood. We were the first ones out of our building because it was a bad fire. The, the blaze was really coming. Firefighters arrived just after 3.30 a.m. By then, the backside of the building and the porches were fully engulfed in flames, making it difficult for crews to get inside. Firefighters were also faced with burnt out stairwells and piles of belongings blocking their way in. There is a heavy fire load or hoarding conditions on the second floor of this unit, which made it very difficult for us to get in. Firefighters began to elevate the alarm up to a 311 alarm fire, meaning more manpower and equipment is needed. Around 250 firefighters and personnel were on scene at the height of the fire, and 95 pieces of equipment were lined up along South Kenwood and East Hyde Park Boulevard. The fire department, the men and whoever's on that team, they were up there right with the blazing fire. You know, it was not smoke at that, it was fire. Firefighters pulled out one woman from the second floor. She was transported to University of Chicago Medical Center in critical condition. At least eight other residents escaped the building on their own and are now displaced. I just wish them the best. That's so traumatic and sad. Fire Commissioner Annette Nance Holt says there have been two other fires this year with similar hoarding conditions. She urges people to speak to their loved ones about the dangers of hoarding in light of this latest fire. You know, if you know someone who has a hoarding condition, try to get them some help because these are the times that matter when you have a fire and we try to gain access and it hinders our ability to gain control of a fire or even get in there safely or keep from hurting one of us as well. And one tenant did report to fire officials that they did hear a smoke alarm go off, that this building had at least a smoke alarm, which alerted them to get out safely uh, as this fire started to burn here on South Kenwood Avenue. Uh, we also just spoke with a member of the Red Cross. She said they are helping with some of those people who are displaced. This fire, the uh, how it started as well as uh, its origin, all under investigation right now. Reporting live in Hyde Park, Alyssa Donovan. WGN News.